happy belated birthday. You just yes. turned 50? Is I that turned correct? 50 years old. Hey, come on, buddy. That's great. It is good. How does it feel? Uh, it feels pretty good. I feel like uh, my lack of exercise is paying off. Yes. Uh, because I have no injuries, you know? A lot of people are like, oh, my knee's bad from basketball. I'm like, I got nothing. I yeah, got nothing. I, just, I, I never did any, anything physical. <laughs> people always say, like, are you slowing down? I'm like, I don't know. I never move fast. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going at the same <laughs> speed. Uh, I got a uh, thing right here, uh, a picture of you. Oh, yes. Because for my birthday, my friend, very good friend, got me tickets to see Springsteen on Broadway, which I'd I'm be, very excited about. I, can, I haven't seen it yet, I heard it's true. Which is, you're not a good friend. Uh, <laughs> no, I have him, I, I can't To him, wait. to him. Yes. And I, uh, <laughs> Thank you. I I've only uh, met him once before, which is in 1991, Gary Shandling hosted the Grammys, and I was writing for him, and I said to Gary, we are taking a picture with Bruce Springsteen, because you're the host and you're allowed to do that. Yes, of and, course. And this is the photo. And you got a photo with Bruce Springsteen. Here he is. Here he is. It's you and Gary. Yeah. Look, at you, look at you. Yeah. Now what? <laughs> I love this, because I was like, what look, what look were you going for in that one? I was going for a little uh, Stallone and Nighthawks. Uh, we got a, actually a photo of Stallone uh, from that time. Yeah. It's not bad. That's wait, you got to you got to show them I mean, together. Yeah. You got to show, show them together. Yeah, not bad. You kind of nailed it. I may have pulled it off. You kind of nailed it. That's as uh, as good as a Jew's gonna do, looking like Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> did uh, 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 did you get to meet Springsteen again, or are you going? I'm I'm gonna go. You're going. Uh, so you uh, get maybe take another photo now, updated photo. With well, if he wants to invite me backstage. <laughs> Uh, I love seeing the picture of uh, Gary Shelling too. I miss that guy, obviously. And yeah. I know uh, I, I, I heard that you're you're writing a book uh, about Gary, but I know you're making a documentary too. I, I, I made a, a four-hour documentary about Gary for uh, HBO. Wow. Uh, and uh, some people say, you know, four hours seems like a lot, but OJ got seven. Yeah. <laughs> so, and yeah. I feel like the people who don't murder should get more hours. Thank you. you know? Thank you. Finally, someone said it. Yeah. Exactly. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, I, I miss Gary Shanley. I love that guy so much. Uh, I will say, uh, you also uh, uh, produce so many great things, uh, including this year, The Big Sick, which is one of my favorite movies of the year. Thank you. Not only did it have heart, uh, but it was funny. It was so funny and so well done. Congrats on that. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. The, the Golden Globes people do not agree with you at all. <laughs> <laughs> they, do, they do not agree. The Golden Globes are weird. Here's the thing. Golden Globes are weird, especially in the comedy category. I don't know if they understand comedy that much because uh, Trainwreck <laughs> lost to The Martian. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that makes sense. And Bridesmaids <laughs> lost to a, a hilarious movie called My Weekend with Marilyn. <laughs> I think all the movies that Why you Why are the comedy categories in with those dramas? I don't... Well, the dramas always want to be comedies because I think they think it's an easier category. And then so, they throw musicals in there as well, right? Yeah, so right the last second a musical slips in and then they're like, uh, Dunkirk says they're a comedy now. <laughs> <laughs> to get them the award, yeah. Uh, I want to talk about... Uh, uh, well, either way, it's a great film and I honestly, you know it is. It's just fantastic. Thank you. Kumail, unbelievable. Yeah, the best. Ah, oh, crushed. And Ray Romano, everybody was great in it. Uh, I, I love the whole film. Uh, let's talk about uh, you in the disaster artist. This is you in, in front of the camera, which is, uh, I always love seeing you. Uh, we'll talk about the stand-up special, but I love seeing you out there. What, what made you do it? Was it James Franco? So, okay, James Franco calls me and he says, uh, John, you want to do this part? It's just like, ter total idiot, mean producer, and uh, he's the one who tells my character that he's never going to make it. And I'm like, that sounds like fun. And I go to the set, <laughs> and then he has me sitting with like a 19-year-old girl. It's like a Harvey Weinstein situation. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I'm playing like a terrible person. And then I see James Franco promoting the movie. He's like, yeah, Judd was so good in the movie playing himself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? I thought I was a yeah, you producer. What <laughs> happened? <laughs> you made me do that. No, you, you directed yes. me. He was the director. You can't at the end of it go Judd as himself. What is that? It's <laughs> <laughs> like the worst thing you can do to somebody. But uh, the movie is unbelievable. It's very, very good. Oh, it is great. Uh, uh, uh -huh. it's on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.